Low key movement in the motherfucking building. Back streets with Cole got my homie. Back streets alumni, man. The key of the city, man. They, she really been running shit, but we gonna go and tile it on the interview, man. But back streets with Cole, man. You gotta let yourself know who you is, where you're from, and whatever you got coming. I'm gonna kill the key. You can find me on all platforms at C H I O T H E K E Y or Low Key the Movement LLC. I'm Music Demuse. You can follow me everywhere at M U S I K D A M U S E. It's music, baby. I'm Quita. You can find me uh, Euphoria Four is Nine uh, in Winter Circles Production. I'm Tyler Marie. You can find me on Instagram at B A L Two H O U. Oh man, a lot of people want to know, man, why the hell the name Low Key? What that was about? <laughs> Since you came up with it, we got to ask you. No, actually, I did not come up with the name. Uh, you the founder? Okay, who the founder? I the founder. So uh, but okay. it wasn't called Low Key when I found it. Oh, okay, wait, give me some history then. Okay. You didn't have a name when it was found. Yeah, so <laughs> it, it started out it just did it. with one promoter uh, wanting to, they wanted me to come and do a concert. Man, look at that. <coughs> we, we is name dropping. You feel me? Wait, 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 what's <laughs> going on? Wait, oh. wait, wait. How did that? No, it's not. It's not no bad name dropping it's right, right now. It's right now. It's right now. So it's the hustler, sweet honey promo, and boss lady Nicole. Mm. They gave us the opportunity, you know, to link with them and do our very first show with them. And okay, shout out. Eric. Really, it was supposed to be okay. just a concert for Muse, but it ended up being we be wanting to take control of the shit. I be want we be wanting shit to run how we wanted to run. Right. So, yeah. Yeah, we wanted to extend the opportunity to other artists or uh, whatever, because that's really the opportunity that I saw. You know, I was like, I wasn't really thinking like, oh yeah, I'm gonna get on the stage and you know what I'm saying. Well, don't get me wrong, I know I'm good, but I just what that wasn't really my mindset. It was just kind of like, oh, I can invite other artists to do it, you know? Like, and so we did state line versus Alabama versus Texas. Um, it turned out amazing. Uh, what not? Um, it was a thousand dollar night. Uh, whatever. Mm. We had no idea, you know, it was gonna be like that. Um, yeah. And then after that, the owner called us. Mimi uh, called up and was like, "Hey, you know, y'all wanna come and do weekly?" And thus, Low Key was born. Low Key the movie. Y'all should be proud of yourself. But how proud of, of you of yourself? Um. I don't know. I don't even think I can think of that shit. Mm, okay. I, like, I just, I'm proud of my team. I'm proud that we was able to stick through a lot of bullshit together and get shit done. And we still stepping up shit. I like that. Like I'm, I'm super proud of the people that surround me and continue to stay around me. And you know the people that didn't switch on me when the bullshit happened. That's what I'm proud of. I'm mm. proud that we were able to stay connected and really just do this shit. Mm. Kept the shit going, kept the shit alive. What made you separate yourself between the artist and the businesswoman? Like, fuck it, I'm gonna do this shit myself. I'm gonna form a team, I'm gonna get with my girl, and we gonna really take the city by storm these past two to three years. Uh, because I was kind of going to other people's events and paying for slides, and I didn't uh -oh. know what the fuck I was paying for. You know, it's too early. <laughs> Okay. Do you advise artists to throw their own shows? No. I used to. <laughs> okay, why you say no? Um, I, <laughs> because a lot of people... Because everybody doing that shit now. Let's be real. Everybody is doing it. Y'all Let's be real. Because y'all was, was doing that shit. That's right the fucking series. Right, exactly. And it's too many people. It's too many chiefs and not enough Indians. Everybody can't do this shit. Everybody don't have the same work hustle. Y'all don't have the same fucking standards. Y'all niggas don't have the same morals. Y'all niggas just do this shit for the fucking money. Because they think it's easy. Mm. Don't forget that part. They, they think it's easy. easy. They think it's an old They think just because I make a flyer, niggas is gonna pop right. out. No, nigga. They think they can book any fucking venue and people are gonna pay whatever. No, nigga. So what? I mean, you an artist yourself and started doing y'all, y'all, y'all do shows and shit now too. So how can you say no to the artists that need to be doing that shit? Uh, Cause you need to be selective. You don't need to be everywhere just doing anything with True. anybody. True. People go out and spend money on slots. And then you haven't researched these people, you haven't researched the platform, that's how niggas get scammed. That's how y'all allow these out of town promoters to come out, throw shows. Y'all pay them 300 fucking dollars to perform, and the niggas burn off. 
Yeah. Don't pay you. Don't you didn't pay money for a section. Your people didn't pay twenty dollars to get in. It's supposed to be a contest. It's supposed to be a cash contest at that. Nigga don't give away no money. No one knows how to find this nigga because he's not from here. So that's the type of shit <laughs> niggas like to do out here. Yeah. Right? In Houston, not just period. Um, I can't speak on any other city. But, H-Town. Mm-hmm. So, how do you advise artists, y'all can, all y'all can kind of chime in to, uh, I guess, navigate as far as grimy promoters? Shit, y'all want to get this? Do your research. I mean, okay. early, do your research. Stop thinking. I mean, we live in a deep, we just for a couple of hours. Like, really do your research. Take in with these people. Find out what they're doing in the community. Um, you mm-hmm. know, make yourself really known in what you're doing. Like, you can't just say, oh, I'm running next to this. I know I'm a shit. I'm a witness. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Like, it's people I know. And I've only been here in Houston for the same amount of time I've been with Low Key. And I did this back in Baltimore as well. Yeah. Like, you really have to do your research. You can't just see a flyer. It's fly shit. Oh, 5000 hour reward. Of course, you G'd up. Oh, I'm the best shit ever. I'm going to go out here and do this. You're not thinking about where they came from. Are they from your city? You know what I'm saying? None of that is no... I don't know, you have to do your research and it's not as hard as people make the thing. Shit, just go, go to the events. They doing events, go see how many people are The thing is, they gonna finesse you when it comes to the IG. They gonna, they gonna finesse you with the videos. You ain't gonna know. It was 12 people in there Uh-oh. and nine of them was Uh-oh. performing. You ain't gonna know that because they ain't gonna never turn that camera around. That. So you can see the crowd. Like, right. you not going, they, they not, if they not showing you Shout out to the members that stayed, the members that ain't that, that no more, man. Y'all still pushing. What keep y'all pushing? This is what we want. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, this is what we want. Like, I, like you know, music always is, it's it's a gateway, right? Like, that's how I feel about it. Like, you know, you have millions of people that decide, you know, like, hey, I can sing, I can rap or whatever. You know what I'm saying? And they'll get into it and then eventually they branch off to other divisions like you're able to actually find yourself in music because it's the most common way for us to become creative and when we as people become creative which that's what we do we create you know what i'm saying so when we become creative it it gives us fulfillment which leads us to where we need to be in the first place right? man respect key i need one horror story bro being an artist a horror story like one of the worst things as an you artist in your bag <laughs> As an artist, <laughs> as an artist, because you you was mentioning earlier about that's why you want to start what you doing, because you know be fair to the artist. So as an artist, what some shit did that happen to you behind the scenes? Um, I mean this has to do with the artistry and the business. Okay. Um, you kind of had tapped into it a little bit earlier, so I guess we just gonna touch on the subject when when all the bullshit happened with the paperwork and when um <laughs> jacket three eighty. Uh, well, no, I'm not even gonna say attempted. He did. He bought my DBA. Lucky the movie. He owns that shit. I get that to him. That's what forced me to go get my LLC and get my shit together and turn this shit into a business. So it was some whole shit, but at the same time, yeah, thank you, nigga. Like I, I wouldn't. You had a lawsuit with Jackal, the promoter. It didn't turn into a lawsuit, but yeah. When he bought your name, he bought my DBA. Yeah. What you mean, Kill? What? No, Lucky the movie. Yeah. Yeah. Cause we was we had our events. But y'all was working together. No, we never worked together. So how y'all? Yo, so they didn't even <laughs> speak to each other until after this. Was this right? when you, y'all this was doing show? Was you an artist then, or was you the movement? Then? I was doing shows. This was when uh, we we were really we were both doing shows on the Thursday, like ten minutes up the street from each other. So it was really competition for real. And I really think that's what it was. Niggas will never admit to that shit, but I really think that's what it was. So I personally think that it was solely all of the people that was in the middle. Mm-hmm. Because during that time span, right, when when he did that, uh, the people that were with us at the time, they all dispersed. Like everybody left everybody. at once. What, what you mean by that? The team we had, so this isn't like the team that we have now is far from being the original team. Mm-hmm. It's the best one. Um, but really, we, Kyo? We, yeah, I, I've gone we've through gone like through hundreds of artists, yeah. possibly. Like yeah. I've gone through so many artists, it's insane. Yeah. So oh, at that time, over the course of three years, three years, just trying to figure out, you know, and Cody with y'all. Hmm? Cody made with y'all. Uh uh-uh, uh, he with uh, La Patty P. Like. Okay, okay. Mm-hmm. Well, shit, y'all. Ca- I might be wrong for saying this. I feel like y'all kind of no, we we gave him exposed. Oh, but I feel like y'all gave him 
a little bit of exposure for us the underground because a lot of people didn't know who he was and she she like said it. Oh, okay. Like, I'm just, it's no, no, it's no. <laughs> no, I get what you're saying, but if it like with other people say it's like it's more validated because if you said it's like you right. riding for right. yourself right. and shit right. like that, right. I get it, but so, like a lot of them don't. I don't see them rocking with y'all, but do they still like kind of pay homage to the platform? The art. Yeah, I, I yeah. think okay. everyone does. Okay. In a sense, even the people that don't fuck with me no more because they still be on this here internet in low key merch. <laughs> Even though they'll tell people they don't fuck with me. They'll tell people I'm a whole ass nigga, but you still rocking my shit. So, you know, thanks for the support. I still appreciate it. And that's just Man. Thanks for your coach shit, man. So did y'all ever sell a bit? Figure that out or still no little loss with you and John? Um, I I actually I went to one of his events a couple months ago just to you know, clear the air. I didn't, this was before 2024, because I told myself this year, I didn't want to go into a new year. Really just on bad times with nobody. You know, he can't do shit now. I own my LLC. There's nothing you can do. Unless he, you know, it's going to cost a lot of money to override that shit. And I don't think a nigga was. Really yeah, I was beefing. What made, like, I, I'm trying to understand. What made him just, like. It's, it was the, honestly, my opinion uh, uh, is the people in between. Like, because they never, during this time. This was you when he was on live and shit going back and forth or something. Yeah. Years ago. He and Johnson never had a formal conversation. Mm -hmm. Like, during that time. Sure. Like, the only words that they were exchanging were, like. The shit that was on were, were just, like, out of expression for the shit that they was hearing mm -hmm. from people in the middle. You know what I mean? So, so why y'all didn't change y'all Thursdays? Is that what he wanted or? I know. I don't know what it was because that's we weird. never talked. Somebody bought y'all. Like, that's weird. It was to mess. Me, but it was mess. That's, that's exactly what it is. Yeah, that's, yeah, yeah. I've been trying to short stop something you ain't stop shit. Nothing. That, you know? that's, yeah, that's, I mean, that shit got deep. Niggas was on the internet, bro, posted the paperwork on the internet. Tag me, tag Taz, tag Gooch, tag everybody that I fuck with in the city. And then told me that every time I had a show that I couldn't keep my money, he was coming. Bro told me he was going to come slap the shit out of me. A whole nigga. <laughs> Man, bro. And I just, this is this paper, I meant to say this in the beginning. Like, this is my truth. I don't want nobody see his interview and come in, beef up with me or fucking code for releasing this shit or not chopping this shit up because this is my truth. This I'm my used to it by now, bro. If you're upset because of how my story is being fucking told, you probably shouldn't have did the whole shit to begin with. So, yeah. And it's still not beef. Like I tell you, I chopped it up with him. I went to his show. I brought people with me that paid to get in. So do you get paid off y'all shit? Hmm? Do we get paid off any other yeah, no. Oh, okay. So, which I had to switch something up, or I, I did it. No, the LLC Absolutely. overrides the DBA. Yeah, LLC overrides that. Yeah, no, we don't get paid off anything. Um, that was talk at the time. But that's what I said. I give that. That shit forced me to get my pay. That back. must have made you level up, because some shit like that, and you said people, certain people, well, he did put the shit on, like you say, the internet, but. Everybody, my whole team, everybody, everybody. that was around, they told me, the people that I was putting money in their pockets off of this shit told me that. Oh, y'all don't got y'all shit together. I can't be around this. Oh, Keo, you were bad for my name. I'm an artist too. You're gonna make my fucking my name like the people y'all was helping. Bro, yeah, this man. is our first year. Man, that shit is cold shit, man. We got January in January. We that's when we got the LLC. And people be wondering why I am the way I am and why I talk how I talk. You kind of stand out with that. Is there a reason? Because it's shit like this. Oh. <laughs> 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 Like, yeah, that shit, like, it's how you, it's hard to trust anybody. That's why I tell you, like, I'm, I'm so happy that the people that are still around are still around because I do trust them. Like, a million percent. I couldn't say that shit before. Man, what did you do when you came to my house? Okay, we had a couple of conversations. You know, we showed up at the same places, but everything that I'm doing benefits you. Right. You know what I'm saying?